Well, fresh off Black Friday, bargain hunters can now look forward to tomorrow, the big day, Cyber Monday. Online sales are expected to break records with retailers offering deep discounts. But given the Canadian postal ordeal, will shoppers be doing their shopping online? For more insight on this, I'm joined by Tim Richardson. He's a marketing professor at Seneca College. Joining me in our Toronto studio, Tim, it's going to be quite the day tomorrow. It is indeed. But as much as we get excited about Cyber Monday, mm. to some extent it's been backed up to midnight Sunday and then creeping into Saturday and then overlapping with Black Friday. So it's kind of hard to see where that date actually is anymore. I know. And it's the same thing that we noticed with Boxing Day as well. It yes. really isn't just Boxing Day as yes. it was back in the day. But do you think people are still going to spend their money online or are they going to hit the bricks and mortar yes, and yes, go they the are. stores? But we have a combination of things where people may go into a store to buy something face to face, but they mm -hmm. did all their research online or they went into a chat room and looked at comments or they looked at the unboxing video on YouTube. So even though they may have bought in a store, it was to some extent an online facilitated purchase. Okay, so kind of doing some of that research online, yes, but being able to go into the store. So are we going to see that trend more so this year in, for Christmas, given what we're seeing happening with Canada Post? Uh, yes, some people are a little bit concerned about that, but uh, my students have... Uh, sent me notes saying that, yes, they got Amazon Prime and they're waiting to get their packages. But right. a delay of a couple of days is not too much. And uh, besides, there's a number of different uh, emails that are being sent out to the uh, people that are having packages come through Canada Post saying where they can click this particular link and it mm -hmm. shows them that it's cleared the Mississauga warehouse and so on. Right. So that causes people to be not worried too much. What about for smaller retailers, sort of the mom and pa shops, the ones that um, rely specifically on Canada Post, um, don't go to sort of the, the other, you know, purolator and whatnot to help deliver yeah. their packages. Do you think um, they're going to see more foot traffic inside their doors? Uh, yes, there are. So uh, there have been a number of people say that they'll do that. At the same time, uh, some medium and to some extent, some small size uh, stores have also said that mm -hmm buy our stuff online and we'll have it shipped to the nearest uh, retail outlet near you. So that's a combination of the two as well. Before I let you go, talk to me about the changing needs of the consumer and how you're seeing retailers are sort of changing their ways to tailor towards that because it is very different say, even five years ago. Well, we have this whole category, what we call uh, user-generated content. Mm. So it's one thing for uh, the vendor to talk about his product and have uh, videos on their website and so on. But when you've got people that are uh, have YouTube channels with millions of hits unboxing product when you've got uh, Facebook groups of people that have owned the third and the fourth edition and you can go in there and ask questions the consumers becoming much more educated than they were in the past and that gives them a great upper hand in this negotiation back and forth. All right a bit more of a positive outlook in the stores and online Tim Richardson a marketing professor at Seneca College a pleasure Tim thank you. Thanks.